anyway welcome back to my channel guys it's your girl coco styles and today i'm gonna be vlogging at the museum it's pretty decent outside today in atlanta but i think it is gonna rain later on so hopefully i'll get home before then i'm in my car now so i'm gonna try my best to vlog as much as i can um, I do know if you guys are planning on visiting there, if you're visiting Atlanta, I think it's a pretty cool mo uh, mall, a pretty cool museum to visit. They did change some stuff in there where you can't, um, is that you can't just walk in. So previously you can buy a ticket, which was fine, but now I think you have to buy a ticket and they give you a certain time to come. I'm late, so I don't know how this is gonna work for me. <laughs> Um, I'm literally like 30 minutes late, so we'll see if they refund me my money or, you know, if not. So, I'll, I'll see how, how it goes when I get there. Um, I don't know if you have a certain amount of time on the inside of the mall. Why do I keep saying mall? Is it because I want to shop, guys? <laughs> inside the museum. Um, but I do know, like I said, that they give you certain a certain time pick a ticket for a certain time and the times are like 30 minutes apart so I know you don't have only 30 minutes in there I'm, I'm almost 100 sure about that so we'll see when I get there um if I get turned away because I'm super late um I don't know but I'm literally like 30 minutes behind I don't even know how that happened I was so like good with time and then I look at the time like 115 I gotta go so We'll see. We'll see how this how this goes when I get there. Hopefully they got some good exhibits today. Cause I haven't been in a while. I think the last time I actually went, I think Bas Basquiat was there. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, and I know a lot of people love his art. It wasn't my cup of tea, but um, I did see like a lot of people who really wanted to see it. And that's probably because I'm not an art. I like art, but I'm not like, you know, into it to where I'm like, oh, this piece is so amazing because of this. No, I literally like art because of what, how it looks in my home. So his stuff wouldn't really go with my theme of my home, but um, a lot of people did seem to really enjoy it. So I just have on some flats today. My feet are swollen from yesterday. Uh, we went to Fellowship, which is a cigar bar in Atlanta. Um, the smoke was heavy. My friend said that it was a lot more heavy the last time she went. So, but it was still, it was still a lot. It was still, my bag smelled like it. My hair, excuse me. And I'm still a little tired. My bag, my hair, everything. So, it's like sitting and just, I don't know. But it was it was a pretty cool scene. We ordered they they do have like a pretty decent vegan menu, which I'm super happy about because we can't always find stuff when we go places. But that was really well, okay. One we think they made a boo boo and gave us beef. Uh, she had my friend had the burger the last time she went and she said it was really really good. And I can say that most of the vegan burgers are very very flavorful. And this one, I broke a piece off and I started to chew it and she chewed hers first. And she was like, this is beef. And I was like, shut your face. So I spit it out. And after we started looking at it, I'm like, it does look like, it does look like beef. I don't know, it just didn't, I don't know. And that's the thing you have to be careful with buying this mock meat. It was meant for me not to eat it because I said I wasn't gonna eat it not anymore. Um, Cause you guys know I stay away from uh, processed foods. But I'm just like, oh, we're out, whatever. So I just ended up getting like a wild rice bowl, which wasn't a wild rice bowl. And I'm kind of like tired of these restaurants, like false advertising. Um, there's another place, True Kitchen, I think it's called, in Buckhead. I wanted like a quinoa bowl. So I'm expecting quinoa and whatever vegetables was in there. So it was like rice, white rice, and quinoa. It defeats the purpose. People eat quinoa because they don't want to eat <laughs> white rice, which is horrible for you. And the same thing yesterday, there was like a wild rice bowl. So I'm expecting wild rice, like a full 
plate of wild rice. No, it was like white rice and wild, like sprinkles of wild rice. So these restaurants have to do a better job because I could have sent it back. So they have a little VIP section upstairs. I don't know if it's worth it because I don't know. Like we had some drinks downstairs. I just had a ginger beer and it's in a can and they give it to you in a glass, but they give you the can with the rest of it. Upstairs, they just poured it in a little small cup. Not even, a, like it was so, it was like backwards. Like I think downstairs should have had the plastic cups. Upstairs should have had glass, but totally opposite. I don't know. And downstairs looks better, so I don't, I mean, I guess you go up there if you just wanna be with your friends and stuff, but I don't know if it's necessarily worth it um, going upstairs. I mean, it looks cool walking up the stairs, but it ain't shit up there. <laughs> if you really wanna talk about it. <laughs> I think if they would've had like a pool table and stuff, and I don't know, just a little bit more VIP-ish. But other than that, it was pretty decent. I'll go back, but we didn't get any seats because it was a game on and people weren't leaving and the host guy kept saying, you know, um, um, you guys are next, you guys are next, but we never got seats. So I recommend if you do go there, if they do reservations, go early. If they do reservations, uh, reserve um, a space. And if they don't, get there early. Cause I think around eight o'clock, she said that there was no wait, but come 844 it was just like super packed so I don't know if they all just had like <laughs> an idea to go and they just went at the same time but yeah but it was pretty decent um the drinks weren't expensive the food wasn't expensive uh the people it was a mixture you know of course mostly men there was a few women in there that were actually with the men um what else dress code you cannot wear sneakers so men no sneakers also, they have brunch on Sundays and you can come as you are pretty much. So you can wear sneakers on Sunday, but not on Saturdays. And what else? Other than that, that was it. Check it out, fellow fellowship. I think it's Cam Newton's spot. Yeah, Cam Newton. It was, it was cool. I don't know how long it's been there, but it's nothing really in the area. The parking is not that great. Oh, well, she said that they have a parking garage. I'm not sure how big it is, but we Ubered over there because we parked and then we Ubered because it was a Greek event going on yesterday and it was just like so many people out there. So we just ended up taking an Uber, which was still okay. Um, but other than that, that's it, so I'll catch you guys once I get inside the museum. Hopefully I can get in and hopefully they don't like turn me away because I missed my time. But um, all right, I'll catch you guys in a second, bye.